right, here is the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Juicier Formiga, training for a long time under Andre Pedroneras at Nova Uniao. Outstanding Jiu-Jitsu game. We've really seen his striking improve, though, in his time on the UFC roster. We'll see how Formiga approaches this challenge tonight, Joe. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Younger brother of former UFC lightweight champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. Here is the flyweight contender, Sergio Pettis, outstanding kickboxer under the tutelage of the outstanding striking coach, Duke Rufus. Still a young man, Sergio Pettis has improved leaps and bounds since he made his first walk in the UFC tonight. Finds himself in yet another big fight, Joe. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. Pettis is 24, Formiga is 32. Pettis is one inch taller, he will have a two inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC. Flyweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding the professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Juicier Formiga! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, Sergio the Pino Pettis. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? You ready? All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. All right, here we go, round one, and there is Sergio Pettis. His first amateur fight was when he was 15 years old. Finished a 22-year-old with a first-round head kick knockout. Most of his UFC wins, though, by decision. A finish for Sergio Pettis would be of particular use here tonight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Caught him with a punch. That one hurt. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Pence. Those punches are very hard. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the line. Omega gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nicely done. 
set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round, Declaring the winner by tap out, Jushia Omega! Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter share in the moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration. 